announcement of Vendor support for Magento 1 has actually raised a lot of questions to many merchants. But what does that really mean? Will hundreds of thousands of Magento 1 store suddenly stop working? Hi, we are Aaron and Maya, and we're working in Inchu, a full-service e-commerce agency that has over 500 projects behind us, primarily built on Magento platform. At Intro, we strive to be a merchant's best friend, which means always having their best interest in mind. And that sometimes means also taking a role of being a reality checkpoint for some of the hot topics in e-commerce, like this one. If your store is still running on Magento 1, the time has come, so you need to decide what to do next. That's right, Magento has confirmed the end of support for Magento 1 for June 2020. Will your Magento 1 store suddenly disappear or stop working? Well, no, not really. What does that really mean is that there will be no security patches, no code fixes and no performance improvements for Magento 1 stores after June 2020. Well, that sort of makes sense because Magento 1 has had a long and fruitful run for many merchants. And now it's only reasonable from the business standpoint that Magento 2 is sunsetting their old product. Magento 2 is a really good solution and with 2.3 release it actually got rid of a lot of issues that were coming with earlier versions of Magento 2. However, uh, this is still not a platform that is considered easy to master even by the developers who already have experience with Magento 1. The costs of uh, developing Magento 2 stores are on average actually higher than they were on Magento 1, so a lot of merchants are thinking whether they're going to migrate or they're going to choose another solution. Having said all this, what we're gonna do, we're going to suggest you a couple of options that you still have. So what options do you have? There are a couple of viable options and we'll try to present the pros and cons of each one. First one would be do nothing and hope for the best. A large number of Magento 1 stores haven't made significant changes over the years. Maybe there was a patch here and there, and maybe an upgrade or two. And they will continue business as usual in hopes that nothing goes wrong. Until it does. And you can't really argue with that approach. Putting out fires on a daily basis has been the regular way of doing business for many small merchants. You can also remain on Magento 1, but with a twist. This huge gap has been recognized by several different initiatives. Most common ones are Mage 1 and Open Mage projects. Mage 1 is a service that is uh, promising merchants actually what Magento 1 was doing, security patches and smaller fixes of your Magento 1 store. While Open Mage project actually is a little bit broader service as they promise to continue innovating Magento 1 after the official end of support. The third option is migrating to Magento 2. And that actually makes a lot of sense, right? So you would probably want to continue using the platform that's as robust as Magento is and that's actually still used by the majority of e-commerce owners that are using open source solutions out there. And this really is a valid approach and the one that we are recommending to a lot of our clients and leads. In fact, a lot of our long-standing clients have already either migrated to Magento 2 or are in the process of making the move. The process of migrating to Magento 2 is sometimes straightforward, sometimes it requires a lot of planning, perhaps a customization or two here and there, but it is a well-oiled machine at this point. With that said, the costs of building a Magento 2 store and maintaining it over the years are somewhat higher than they were with Magento 1. This is because Magento 2 is a fairly complex platform, much more so than Magento 1 was, and it comes with still an unmatched set of features, so that comes with a cost. Magento is still the most robust e-commerce platform out there and it remains the best choice for many merchants. There is also an option of moving away from Magento. This solution may makes sense for Magento 1 merchants who actually use their Magento in a way to just install a couple of extensions, use a free or a cheap theme and just went with it. Actually, for these merchants, Magento was probably an overkill to begin with. What they can do, they can consider using software as service solutions such as Shopify and BigCommerce. The main thing here is to compare features and see if they're gonna do the trick. Although these services are much simpler to use, they do come with ongoing fees and they won't really satisfy your business needs if they are a little bit more complex. So let's wrap up. Pros for the do nothing and hope for the best approach are lowest impact on the budget and the chance to delay your decision for a more complex project. The main cons would be the high risk of site exploits in the near future and limited support for Magento 1 after June 2020. While staying on Magento 1 will require no large investments, 
and you would stay on a familiar platform. However, it will leave you with no official support by Magento and a limited support for Magento 1 in general. If you migrate to Magento 2, you would have the accessibility to the latest tech stack, features and security alongside with all the benefits that Magento and Adobe ecosystem are offering. However, it would require larger investments and, in general, higher ongoing costs than you had with Magento 1. Saying goodbye to Magento and giving a warm welcome to some software as a service can lead to a good change and simplicity in general. Have in mind that there are unplanned costs that can pile up and you will have limited customization options. We know there are a lot of things to take into consideration about what to do next. And that's why we are here, seeing you as your guide through this sensitive matter. Leave us a comment below or contact us in any other way to get the conversation started. We would love to help you make a good decision. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and you? I don't know.